Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming along this evening. It's a pleasure to have you here, so many of you here this evening to celebrate this fantastic concert of the Obsia Intermediate Music Festival. Before we begin, I would like to ask you to put mobile phones onto flight mode and not to take any flash photography. We do have a photographer here this evening and we also are filming the event, so we would rather that you enjoy the concert by watching it and enjoying the music rather than through the screens. In the event of a fire, we have an emergency exit at the top of the stairs and on either side of the theatre here. If you do need the toilet, I'm afraid we do have an intermission in the middle, so we would ask you to remain in the theatre for the duration and to not exit at all during the musical performances. It has been an absolute delight to host the inaugural Phobosia Intermediate Music Festival. It's been a year in the working and an absolute pleasure to finally get to this point. We have three strands to the festival, choral, orchestral and jazz. And the children have chosen one of those strands and they've been working tirelessly with enthusiasm, with passion, throughout the whole weekend to come to this point this evening. We have 11 schools in total, including ourselves, and it's just been an incredible atmosphere around the school all weekend to have everyone working together. They have worked with their teachers and sectionals, and we've also been absolutely honored to have three prestigious conductors leading them. We've had Mr. Eugene Pook with the orchestra, Mr. Chiho Mack with the choir, and Mr. Scott Murphy with the jazz. I'm so excited, I'm nearly jumping up and down, but I'm going to try and contain myself. So without any further ado, will you please put your hands together and give a warm welcome to the choir and Mr. Chi Ho Mac.
you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for, for coming here today to see the final concert of, uh, of this year's Intermediate Festival 2017. Um, my name is Shiho, and I'm so, so happy to be able to um, uh, work with this wonderful group of young choruses. And uh, we've had such a great time exploring about music, learning about each other. Um, and um, this is tonight's performance is going to be the highlight of, of their, their work hard work they put in the past few days. Um, for, uh, for the program, for the choral program of this year, Intermediate Festival, I've decided to choose a selection of pieces which reflect the wonderful diversity and beauty of our world today through singing. Um, you will, it will take you on a journey um, through many lands, um, um, across many seas and oceans, over many different cultures, many languages, and also vocal customs and um, we shall explore um, and test their, their challenges you know, to, to be able to do music with other than they, that they're familiar with. Um, the first song that you've heard is a wonderful piece called Circles of Motion, which talks about the cycle of life and about the re rejuvenation, about rebirth, about hope and about friendship. And this wonderful piece is taken from Bob Chilcott's five songs for upper voices. Next, we are going to do a song for you from uh, the Philippines. Um, Ordee is a, a landscape, um, a, 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 a song which captures the wonderful landscape of the Madukayan region in the Philippines. And um, it talks about rice fields in the mountains. And um, you will hear a tropical jungle. You will hear some strange noises, but um, it reflects the wonderful vibrant spirit of the Madukaya people in the Philippines. This is Oro de A, composed and arranged by Maria Teresa Rota.
the Philippines, we now travel over to Central Europe to a wonderful, beautiful country, Hungary. And this piece, called Cello Chuk, comes from uh, the Hungarian composer, who's contemporary to uh, the, the famous comp composer educator Zoltan Kodai. This is Cello Chuk by Lahos Bados. And the text, um, the, well, what we are doing an interpretation of it, is about the, the bells and sonorities of bells in the cathedrals of the town. So this is Cello by Lahos Bados. Hungary, now we're going to do a very special song for you, written by the Norwegian composer Frode Fjellheim. Um, many people who have not known um, the name of Frode Fjellheim, but he was the composer of um, a lot of the music, especially of the very famous chorus Bueli, which was uh, later used in the Walt Disney animation movie called Frozen. And uh, in this piece, um, the, we are going to recreate an atmosphere of the Norwegian Sami peoples. The Sami peoples are a group of, of nomadic tribe, um, and their culture dates back for hundreds and thousands of years. And they live on the islands and in, in, in Scandinavia up north, where it's very, very cold, and, um, and it's always dark. But what they share with, um, they share a wonderful cultural um, heritage, of um, a musical heritage called the Yoik. The yoik is an ancient call, or something like a, a chant, which is akin to almost like a cry or a wail. And it's also a melodic pattern um, that is being used to, uh, to herald uh, 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 festi festivals and festivities. And uh, this is an adaptation by Frude Feldheim, and he's using certain textures and certain melodic fragments of a traditional Sami yoik and incorporate me into a, a larger piece. This is a night yoik by Fluna Fjellman.
heard that we like our world music. <laughs> From Norwegian Sami, now we travel to Eastern Canada. And this is a piece very, very special um, in the children's choir or youth by choir repertory. And it's called the Mi'kmaq on a song. Um, the Mi'kmaq is based on a chant called the first chant um, of or the eco song or an yeah, eco song from the gathering song of the Mi'kmaq Mi'kau tribes people in Eastern Canada. They traditionally work as fishermen. Um, they are also nomadic, um, but they have a chant where they um, they revere all sacred things. And uh, they believe that each animal um, and spirit in the world around them has meaning and gives meaning to their lives. And this is an incantation or a chant which celebrates that, which gives an honour to the spirit of nature that surrounds the Mi'kmaq people or the Mi'kmaqau people, tribes people of Eastern Canada. This is a beautiful composition by the Canadian composer Lydia Adams.
wonderful song called In the Name of Music I Shall Sing. And this pretty much sums up the, um, the, 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 I know, the message that we want to share with you um, from all of us here in the choral uh, section of Fabicia 2017. It's been a great, great experience for all these kids. They've had so much fun, they've had so much fun working with them. Um, and the teachers have all worked together. We were a great team. And um, we'd like to leave you with our final piece, which is a Yiddish blessing called Shalom.
actually very good for angles here than the back of my neck, so they are absolutely beautiful. And I think they deserve another big round of applause. It's incredible the amount of repertoire that the children have first and prepared for the performance. Just a phenomenal amount and such a diverse range as well. We're going to move on now just before our interval to our jazz musicians. I'll just take you a little on the interval. We would ask that every person in the audience please leaves through the top door so that we can set the stage. So after our jazz musicians, please can you all go outside and we'll call you back in again for a second half. Now, the jazz musicians, this is a, a first for, certainly for this ability range at Bovisia and we're absolutely delighted that Mr. Scott Murphy, one of our own musicians and teachers here at ESPL, has led the students in an incredible experience. They have worked again, like everyone else, tirelessly with passion and be really inspired throughout the weekend. So will you please give a warm, very warm welcome to the jazz musicians. <laughs> Mr. Scott Murphy. Thank you very much. Yeah, so this is the first ever Borgesia Music Festival Jazz Concert. So you guys are very lucky to be able to experience this for the first time. Um, we're also going to have a first, now this is a brand new composition which has been composed for this ensemble, for this festival. So there's all the sorts of firsts that are coming in there now. Um, the incredible thing I do about this piece in particular is that all of the young musicians have learned it by ear. No sheet music for them. So they have had to listen when I played it or when our team over there have played it, and they've had to learn it by ear with the rest of the ensemble as it's progressed. So that means that we've got a really fluid and a very unique sounding band straight away. The best thing about it for me is they've actually all contributed slightly to how their arrangements come together. So this truly is a full ensemble piece. And you can hear the creative talents of these young musicians shine. Um, all of them, as uh, <laughs> Mr. Chiho has already shown in his journey, everybody that signs up for this festival are interested in pushing boundaries and learning more about music. That's why they come here. And these musicians are really, really, they've just staggered me with their enthusiasm, with their vibe, if I can use a jazz word, and with their, I don't know, it's just their energy the whole way through. So I hope you get a sense of this. This is Uncle P hat. And this is the first ever Bovisia Music Festival Jazz Ensemble.
ladies and gentlemen, the jazz and summer, Mr. Scott Murphy!
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the Jazz Ensemble. Thank you very much for the support. Before we continue, I'd like to give you a little bit of information about what we're going to do at the end of the concert. So, at the end, we would like you all to leave again. And on level two, this time, there will be some refreshments for you, for the audience members. Um, and they'll be looking beautiful out there, very delicious. So enjoy yourselves. While that's happening, we would like to invite our students who worked so hard to a VIP party. And please respect that these are our VIPs and they are the only ones that have authority to gain access to that party. So, while you enjoy your refreshments, we've got a party for our students out the back, okay? Um, and then later on, after their party's all wrapped up, we would invite those of you from, from here to take your children home uh, in one piece with all of their luggage and their instruments. And then our other visiting schools were going to go and go to bed at the hotel. Um, okay, I think I'm overwhelmed by the first half of the concert. And Mr. Rock just said, how on earth is the second half of the concert going to top that? But we do have more for you. We're very excited. We would now like to introduce the orchestra that has been working equally as hard, equally as enthusiastically, smiling, laughing, cheering, and playing beautifully. They've been working together as a full orchestra, they've been splitting up into sectionals led by our wonderful visiting teachers, but of course they have been led expertly by our conductor. Can you please give a warm welcome to Mr. Eugene Cook? <laughs>
play a few works. Last year, I uh, remember it was in um, September time when uh, Miss Kelly uh, head of music ESPL asked me whether I was interested in conducting the official orchestra. I immediately said yes, I would be delighted to do so because I enjoy working with young people a lot. So uh, I feel very honored to be here to be part of this festival. Thank you. Uh, two days ago, the orchestra started its first rehearsal. It was a morning, Friday morning rehearsal. I could understand during the rehearsal that these uh, young musicians they were facing uh, challenges because uh, most of them they travel you know, from thousands of miles away. I, I just heard that and some of them they commute every day back and forth from the run bus to the on a daily basis. And, and most of them they for the first time, this is uh, the first time playing in the orchestra. And they did not know each other, they did not know me, they did not know them. They were in this totally new environment. And in this only two days rehearsal, they had to cope all this uh, challenging uh, music, with different styles. This music was chosen by the conductor. And after the rehearsal, to be honest, I thought to myself, oh boy, we're going to have a lot of work. On the same day, we continue with our afternoon rehearsal. A few hours later, as we continue with our rehearsal, and there was something uh, magical happened. Okay, totally uh, sounded like a different orchestra. And uh, I was pretty amazed. And to be honest, I have not uh, personally experienced this in my life. And each time, the rehearsal just got better and better. These young musicians, they are very adaptable to, uh, to new things, to all these uh, challenges. They are very positive. They are smart and they, they are willing to try new things. For example, uh, the four soloists, which you just heard, uh, can you please stand up and introduce yourself? We have uh, Brandon Lee and Anthony Werweck and Lucia Mo uh, Montinola on the uh, uh, one more concerto, and on this center we have Louis Wong. These musicians, they were chosen to, to be the soloists just yesterday. And they were given music uh, just yesterday. So, um, <laughs> I think this whole orchestra, they deserve a huge amount of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen of the orchestra and Mr. Eugene Chris. International Schools in Asia and it was formed approximately 22 years ago with a very small number of schools. That has grown recently and now there are 55 schools in the Federation. We are actually honoured tonight because we have the chairman of Phonesia in our audience, Dr. Simon Watson. He became the new chairman in March and the first thing he did was ask the 55 heads together in groups to re-evaluate what we think the mission statement of Bonasia is. We spent the morning discussing, moving, chatting to each other, and without fail, we all agreed on what the mission of Bonasia is. And it's that Phonesia creates a platform for every student and every member of staff in a Phonesia school to have the opportunity and to grasp the opportunity to take a talent that they have and experience it in a way that you can't experience within your own school to take that talent and challenge yourself to achieve way beyond what you believe you can achieve. And to truly understand what hard work and teamwork actually produces. And I do believe, Dr. Watson, that today at the Phobosia Intermediate Music Festival of 2017, each and every one of you, student and teacher, has achieved that. And I would like to say personally a very big thank you for an extremely uplifting and inspirational conference. Well done, everyone. members of my team, uh, the music department of the SKA, and to thank them. They've approached this project like they do every single one, with enthusiasm, passion, and dedication. So you might like to save your claps until the end, because there's a few of us. So I'd like to thank Louise Bagler, who's in the percussion section, Charlotte Lane. Say that you'll be, you'll be here to breakfast. <laughs> uh, James Fidman, Ishmael Sanchez, Rachel Parry, Liam Murray, Shona Burke, Scott Murphy, uh, John Tant, who's up there, and Yu Ying, who's actually in 10, year 10, but we couldn't run this carpet without her. Thank you all very much indeed. This all started a year ago, and it started with an off-the-cuff conversation that was very, very brief and had two questions. I'm not sure whether that even makes a conversation. Claire Lambert, who's the co-chair co of Focus and Music, said to me, Kim, why don't you host a festa festival? You've done it once before. And Deirdre Graham was at my side, just looked with a glint in her eye that I always know, here goes trouble, this is going to be big. And she said, just said, shall we? And during the year, Deirdre has worked tirelessly, and she has made this success 
this festival successful because of her brilliant organization of skills and her wonderful talent for magical detail. Thank you.